Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 14.7 working with natural logarithms. 14.7 represents chapter 14, section 7 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section, starting off with a very important logarithm. Ladies and gents, we have log base e of x equal. This can be rewritten as ln x. We call this the natural logarithm of x. Now, y equal ln x is defined for x is greater than 0. So if you were to substitute x equal 0 or x equal a negative number into this particular equation, you will get maths error. y equal ln x is a reflection of y equal e to the power x in the line y equal x. So now I'm going to sketch the graph of y equal ln x, starting off with y equal e to the power x, and then reflecting that in the line y equal x. So here is my coordinate grid. I've got the y-axis, I've got the x-axis, this is my origin. y equal e to the power x looks something like this. The y-intercept is 1. The line y equal x is something like this. Now if I take y equal e to the power x and I reflect it in the line y equal x, I get a graph that looks something like this. That y-intercept 1 becomes an x-intercept now. Okay, so now I'm going to draw another coordinate grid. But this time I'm only going to draw the graph y equal ln x. So y equal ln x looks something like this. That x intercept is 1. This graph does not cut the y axis, so the equation of the asymptote is x equal 0. Now, ladies and gents, y equal ln x is the inverse function of y equal e to the power x. For this reason, ln e to the power x is equal x. ln and e are inverses of each other, so they cancel out. In the same way, e to the power ln x is equal x. e and ln are inverses of each other, so they cancel out. So these are the key facts of 14.7 working with natural logarithms. I'll be applying these key facts to exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. Find the values of x giving your answer in the form a plus b ln c where a, b and c are rational constants part a for e to the power 1 minus x equal 29. Ladies and gents, the first step is to get rid of the 4 in front of the e. To do this, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 4. So we have e to the power 1 minus x equal 29 over 4. Now to get rid of the e, I need to apply natural logarithms on both sides. So if I do this, I get ln e to the power 1 minus x equal ln 29 over 4. So the ln and e are inverses of each other, they cancel out. Reducing the equation to 1 minus x equal ln of 29 over 4. Now I can rearrange to make x the subject. So if I do this, I get 1 minus ln 29 over 4 equal x. So x is equal 1 minus ln 29 over 4. Right, so over here the a is 1. The b is the number in front of the natural log, which is minus 1. The c is 29 over 4. Let's have a look at part b. We have 2 over 3 e to the power 3x equal 7. Firstly, I need to get rid of the number in front of the e. I can do uh, the following. 7 multiplied by 3 is 21, then divide by 2, which is 21 over 2. So I've got e to the power 3x is equal 21 over 2. Now to get rid of the e, I need to apply natural logarithms on both sides. So ln e to the power 3x is equal ln 21 over 2. Like I said before, the ln and e are inverses of each other, so they cancel out. 
reducing the equation to 3x equal ln 21 over 2. So now I can simply divide by 3 on both sides of the equation, giving me x equal a third ln 21 over 2. Right, so I notice that the a in this scenario would be 0, the b would be a third, and the c would be 21 over 2. That there completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. Solve these equations, giving your answer in exact form, part a ln 5 minus 2x equal 2 over 5. Ladies and gents, we need to first get rid of the ln, so we need to apply e on both sides of the equation. So I've got e equal e. Now e takes everything to its power, so we have e to the power ln 5 minus 2x equal e to the power 2 over 5. Since e and ln are inverses of each other, these two cancel out, reducing the equation to 5 minus 2x equal e to the power 2 over 5. Now I can rearrange to make x the subject. So I've got 5 minus e to the power 2 over 5 equal 2x. Hence, we have 5 minus e to the power 2 over 5 divided by 2 equal x. So x is equal 5 minus e to the power 2 over 5 divided by 2. That's the answer for x in exact form. Let's move on to part b. Over here we've got ln of x squared minus 9x plus 21 equal 0. The first step is to get rid of the ln. So we need to apply e on both sides. So we have e equal e. e takes everything to its power. So e to the power ln of x squared minus 9x plus 21 is equal e to the power 0. Now anything to the power 0 is 1. So the right hand side gets reduced to 1. Over here e and ln are inverses of each other so they cancel out. Reducing the equation to x squared minus 9x plus 21 equal 1. We can take the 1 to the left hand side. This gives us x squared minus 9x plus 20 equal 0. Now we can solve for x. So if I solve this quadratic equation, I get x equal 5 or x equal 4. This completes exam style question 2. Let's have a look at exam style question 3. Solve the equation 2e to the power 4x minus 11e to the power 2x plus 14 equals 0, giving your answer in the form a, l and b, where a and b are rational constants to be found. Ladies and gents, the first step is to rewrite the equation in quadratic form using laws of indices. So the first term becomes 2 in bracket to the power 2. Inside the bracket, we can put e to the power 2x. Then we've got minus 11 in bracket e to the power 2x plus 14 equal 0. The next step is to select a substitution. So in this scenario, our substitution will be y equal e to the power 2x. So we can rewrite the entire equation in terms of y. So we have 2y squared minus 11y plus 14 equal 0. Now we can solve this quadratic equation for y. So if we solve this, we get y equals 7 over 2 or y equal 2. Ladies and gents, we can replace the y's with e to the power 2x. So we have e to the power 2x equal 7 over 2 or e to the power 2x equal 2. Let's solve this equation. To get rid of the e, we need to apply natural logs on both sides. So we have ln e to the power 2x equal ln 7 over 2. So the ln and e cancel out because they're inverses of each other, reducing the equation to 2x equal ln 7 over 2. Hence, x is equal a half ln 7 over 2. Right, so we have that a is equal to a half and uh, b is equal to 7 over 2. Right, let's have a look at this equation. Again, we need to apply natural logs on both sides to get rid of the e. So we have ln e to the power 2x equal ln 2. The ln and e cancel out because they are inverses of each other, reducing the equation to 2x equal ln 2. Hence, x is equal a half ln 2. In this scenario, a is equal a half and b is equal 2. 
That there completes exam style question three. Moving on to exam style question four. Solve e to the power 1 minus 6x equal 4 lots of 12 to the power x, giving your answer in the form a plus ln b over c plus ln d. Ladies and gents, firstly we need to get rid of the e, so we need to apply ln on both sides. So we have ln of e to the power 1 minus 6x equal ln of 4 lots of 12 to the power x. Okay, ln and e are inverses of each other, so they cancel out. Reducing the equation to 1 minus 6x equal ln 4 lots of 12 to the power x. Now, over here inside the natural logarithm, we have a product of two terms, 4 and 12 to the power x. We can actually split this using the multiplication rule for logs. So we have that ln ab is the same as writing ln a plus ln b. Multiplication rule for logs. Okay, so if we use that rule, we have that 1 minus 6x is equal ln 4 plus ln 12 to the power x. Ladies and gents, over here we can use the power rule for logs to bring down the power. So we have 1 minus 6x is equal ln 4 plus x multiplied by ln 12. Right, so we need to take x's to one side and the constants to the other side. So we have 1 minus ln 4 is equal x ln 12 plus 6x. Okay, over here we have a common factor of x. So we can take out the common factor of x. So inside the bracket we've got ln 12 plus 6. And on the left hand side we've got 1 minus ln 4. Okay, so x therefore has to equal 1 minus ln 4 over ln 12 plus 6. I can rewrite this as x equal 1 minus ln 4 over 6 plus ln 12. And that there, ladies and gents, is the desired form. We can see that a is equal 1. Uh, B is equal 4, C is equal 6, and D is equal 12. This completes exam style question 4 and this teaching video 14.7, working with natural logarithms. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.